Why the F-15EX is such a badass plane. Boeing's experienced F-15 chief pilot, Matthew Fat Geise, experienced a high-altitude smash with the Boeing F-15EX Eagle II on its maiden flight in 2021. The F-15EX Eagle II, with its twin-engine, two-place design, enhances the performance benchmark of the F-15 Eagle with thrust, electrical, and computing power. The F-15EX can carry 30,000 pounds of ordnance and see further than any other fighter, making it an effective replacement for America's fifth-generation fighters. The F-15EX can carry 5,700 pounds of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons at shorter range and slower speeds than the F-35. Junior Kenneth Wilsbach, head of U.S. Pacific Air Forces, said that the F-15EX can fill in gaps where bombers might not be available, carrying ordnance effectively. The Air Force is beginning to recognize the value of the Eagle to sue, but plans to buy 104 F-15EXs in total, down from an originally planned minimum fleet size of at least one ever tour four. The state of global affairs today is arguably as grave as when the F-15 first flew in 1972. Built right the first time. Boeing's F-15EX, a 50-year-old airframe, was designed for the Air Force's FX fighter requirement in 1968. Inspired by the Vietnam experience and the USSR's MiG-25 Foxbat interceptor, the designers created a twin-tailed, twin-engine Mach 2.5 capable air superiority fighter. The first Eagle delivered to the service was a two-seat F-15B trainer in 1974, allowing pilots transitioning from the F-4 Phantom to go aloft with an instructor. The first single-seat F-15A was delivered in January 1976, followed by longer-ranged F-15C and D models in 1979. The Eagle spent the next three decades as the U.S. Air Force's primary air superiority fighter, amassing a combat record of 104 kills and zero losses. The Eagle's sturdy design, powerful engines, and long-ranged endurance led to the development of the F-15E Strike Eagle in 1979. A line from the F-15A through E can be drawn to the F-15EX, but it's not a straight line. Twenty-first century guts. Boeing's F-15EX is a modern version of the F-15, which evolved from other models like the F-15QA and F-15SA. The F-15EX was designed with a new digital backbone, including a fly-by-wire flight control system, a powerful advanced display core processor two, mission computer, and a more powerful electrical system. The aircraft features a fully digital all-glass cockpit with a 10x 19-inch large area touch display LAD that can be customized by the pilot or weapons officer to present an array of information, including inputs from the AN-APG-82 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar, and its Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System EPAWSS, Electronic Warfare Suite. The EPLVUSC allows the F-15EX to see further than any other fighter and perform unique digital effects. The F-15EX also has cognitive electronic warfare, a real-time identification of adversary waveforms and adapting and modifying them to use against the enemy. The F-15X uses badass power with the APG-82 and EPWSS, producing a battle space effect greater for the rest of the airplanes in a strike package than one stealth asset. Boeing's Novotny agrees that the EX has a fourth generation outer mold line, but fifth and sixth generation sensors. The F-15 EX's unique features and capabilities make it a significant addition to the F-15 family of aircraft. Badass power. The Eagle II, a new fighter from Boeing, is known for its powerful sensors, ordnance, and range capabilities. Its digital flight control system was designed to make transitioning from an F-15C or Strike Eagle easy. The EX's acceleration and power are what differentiate it from legacy engines, with the GE-129s outperforming legacy engines in drag races and climb turn performance. 
The addition of the G-limiter and roll limiter makes the jet extremely predictable and protects the pilot and airframe. The F-15EX has a reported combat radius of 1,100 miles, making it a significant advantage in the Pacific, where the Air Force could face off against China over vast distances with limited aerial refueling availability. The two-seat EX can carry virtually any aerial weapon in the U.S. arsenal on its nine wing pilots, including up to 14 AM-120. I'm Raman AM-9. Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, small diameter bombs, GBU-54, smart bombs, AGM-158 standoff cruise missiles, and Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The two-seat EX also lends itself well to Air Force battle captain concepts, wherein the crew works with Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCAs. The service is eager to develop. An Eagle II with a pilot flying into advanced tactical scenarios and a backseater operating offboard drones or weapons could make early semi-autonomous CCAs practical while still holding a digital leash to such unmanned teaming systems. The versatile nature of the F-15EX makes buying it in small numbers and largely confining it to a homeland defense mission unnecessary. It's a natural deterrent against China, a new badass to complement current fifth and forthcoming sixth generation fighters, all while upholding the Eagle tradition. 